Here's a easy install for today. Use these universal fenders that you can get on our Rusty Butcher Racing website. I like some su super moto fender or something, but um, comes no holes drilled. I just made a leather template that I could save that mimics the bottom pattern. So what I'm gonna do is put the fender where I want it so it doesn't hit the back. Like that. And I'm gonna take this marker. We have found the correct hardware. But I need to trim all the bolts. So I'm just gonna see which way I can see how far these go in. Maybe we don't need to trim. Cool. Piecing together some goodies. I had a 7 ace housing and a black tube, so I'll put that on there. These are the Billwell Whiskey Throttles. And then, um, I don't know why this one came with a hot start, but I'm going to cut that off, clean it up. I have um, these 3D printed ones that I had made that are for Harley cables, so I can run an ASV. And then I run this Moose. Super heavy duty kicks in. They're not the cheapest things to get, but what I do is I just hack this, hack this right here, and then I weld it to the swing arm. So then you have a heavy duty kickstand that you don't have to worry about right there. And it holds the weight of the Harley. Great mail day for the Hooligan off road project. Um, we got our wheels from W. Beautiful. I just get these white hubs on eBay. I think Tusk makes them, and then I have them lace them to a black XL. This is a stock Sportster hub, uh, three quarter bearings that uh, we buy at the swap meet for like 20 bucks. And then I have a powder coated, and we lace them to these XL 18 inch rears. So yeah, that's how you do it. And um, definitely call W. They are the best in the game. Amazing prices, tell them we sent you. They'll get your wheels dialed, but they've literally built those wheels, those wheels, those wheels, those wheels, these wheels, those wheels. They literally have done all my shit. So get after it. I had a spare uh, Ness, Arlen Ness rear solid rotor lying around. So I'm putting this thing on here and I'll clean it up a little bit. But uh, I believe we have these on the website too, rustybutcherracing.com. You can get these. About to put stock hardware back on here. Really crazy about always using Harley bolts if I if I can. I have tons of them stashed. The front rotor, we're going with um, an oversized kit. I've actually never done this before, so this is new. This is a Galfer rotor, and it comes with a, a bracket. Let me grab it out of my pocket to make the big brake rotor work. Um, yeah, this should be a lot better because, honestly, with doing the dirt bike front ends, these things do not stop well in the front, so that should help a little bit. With that sprocket side i'm missing some hardware so i gotta go to the store and buy some but we got a tail death cycles uh, i believe this one's called a hyper light sprocket um i have a 50 51 tooth laying around i think on my others i have a 52 but that'll do gotta get hardware for that too uh i guess next up on this would be tires we are back on these wheels for this tracker build um i put the rotor on I got the rim strip, which I just used tape. Uh, we're gonna put our tires on today and get this thing on its wheels. Uh, although the suspension needs to be done still, um, the 1821 wheels should be finished. So let's get these on. onto this beautiful 18 inch rear wheel. Um, should do a rim stop in this. I don't have one right now. I run them on the off-road bikes a lot, the dirt bikes uh, here and there, but um, I don't have one right now, so we're just gonna run it without it.
Wheels are finished and ready to mount. Um, let's see, I run Max's tires. They are 120, 110, 18 rear. And then the Max Cross IT front is a 90, 121. Um, this is new. We're doing a Galfer oversized rotor. Uh, the rear is a, just a Arlen Ness jagged rotor. I think this one's a solid one. Um, and then this is a till death sprocket, which I still need to get the hardware for. Um, yeah, let's get these mounted up. Next up, this thing will be rolling. Also, popping tags on the Maxxis tires. Got the old Maxima assembly grease. Throw some on this axle. Always glue your axle, brother. There we have it. We got a stink bug tracker. Can't wait for rear shocks to come. Race tech, send help. It's been literally months uh, to get my suspension back from race tech. Uh, I had some complications with the front end. I sent them. I had to track down another front end, sent them another one, but they got everything dialed. It's showing up tomorrow. I'm excited to jump back on this project. Um, I, the videos prior to this are literally filmed months ago, so uh, the bike's a little bit more rusted now because it's been sitting here with no paint on this raw tank. But um, I wanted to do a little tutorial on how I put on my hand guards. I run the same hand guards as you can see, these older style Psycro ones on every one of my bikes. Um, they don't sell these anymore, but this is a Biltwell throttle. Uh, you can, get like a single pull throttle and then I drill this out and I'm gonna do that right now um, and I'll show you guys why. All right, check it out. So I have this step bit. Um, unfortunately, this step bit's pretty roached so this might take me a while. Um, but yeah, I just start it and go all the way through and then by the time it hits the last step, it's basically the same width as that and uh, I'll show you guys why I have to do this after I drill it out. All right, so as you can see, I drilled it all the way out. I'm gonna go in with the file and clean this up. Um, but basically those hand guards mount to the end of the handlebar right here. And uh, you can't have anything protruding out to where the throttle can still move. I'll show you guys as I'm putting these on, but uh, I'm gonna clean this up, get the throttle on right now. So you can see here that basically it slides all the way through now. The hand guards have a bolt and a, um, basically like a smashed washer that gets uh, lodged in here to hold the handguard on. It goes out to the handlebar mount right there. But yeah, you gotta clear that so you can get to the inside of this. So I just normally run mine a little bit inside just so like if I crash or something that the handguard doesn't uh, get lodged onto this and keep the throttle stuck wide open. Um, hasn't happened yet, but just a precautionary thing. So I thought I had some extra hand guards in stock, but I don't, so I had to order them. Just in case you guys want your own, RustyButcherRacing.com. And uh, these are pretty much majority of the parts that I run on all my bike, you can buy them. But uh, these are the hand guards. And then you have to buy this mount, which I had the mount, but I didn't have the hand guards. So I put in an order for the hand guards. Um, there's a ton of stuff on here and I keep adding to it, hopefully daily. Uh, yeah, so if you uh, want to build a bike, this is how you can fucking buy the parts. The moment I've been waiting for, I got my forks back from Race Tech, as you can see. I had them anodized black, which is pretty cool. And then also the rear shocks. So let's get these puppies on. All right, so let's do a little recap. The roller is together, it looks awesome. 
the shocks I normally do in the rear are 16 and a half. This time I went with 17, so a bit taller. And then we normally lower three inches in the front. This time we only lowered two inches. So this bike is built to be fucking huge. Uh, this one we're going to jump a lot. So I figured, man, might as well try to get another inch out of everything for the suspension. But uh, yeah, looking good so far. I don't know if I might adjust the angle of this fender a little bit. And then um, I got to weld a kickstand onto the swing arm like I normally do, which will be the next thing. And then the roller is pretty much done. I got to find a motor, but that's pretty much all you need to do to build one of these things. Uh, it doesn't really end up being the cheapest thing in the world when you build them currently like how I build my bikes. But I also beat my bikes to shit more than most people do. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to keep doing these videos. Um, we have a new headlight coming that's going to replace this one. I got to powder coat everything. Um, I got to find the motor, wire it up. And then uh, a few other little things. And this thing will be on the road. But enjoy episode three. Let me know in the comments if you guys are building the bike and all that stuff too.